Okay. So, we have done with NCRT and now we are going to do uh, some uh, other questions. Okay. We are going to solve some more questions. So, first of all uh, name the groups to which the following crops belong. I will repeat the thing, I will repeat the question. Name the groups to which the following crops belong. Now, first is wheat, millet, okay, ragi, oats. First is wheat, millet, ragi, and oats. Now, you all can understand this is what first of all I write first time. Okay. So, this one is 1. So, these are what? You all know these are cereals. Okay. Coming to the second one, a uh, very easy, this one is quite easy. Tomato, cabbage, turnip, onion and ginger. Tomato, turnip, cabbage, onion and ginger. I know you all know it is what? These are vegetables. Okay. Come to the next one. Tulsi, mint, belladonna. Okay. What it is? Tulsi, mint and belladonna. So, these are what? Medicinal plants. Okay. These are medicinal plants. Okay. Now, uh, next is what? Number 4. Yes. Fourth one is tea, coffee and cocoa or coca. <laughs> tea, coffee and coca. These are what? We all like it. These are beverages. Beverages. Okay. Now which number will come? Fifth one, last one. This is P gram and beans ok. I will repeat it it is P gram and beans. So, like small ones does not like this these are what pulses these are pulses ok. Come to the next one this was A now B. See they have given a uh, certain rabi and khari crop ok. Now, it is in mixture are you getting in my are you getting my point? They have given certain name of the crops in mixture these we have to sort it out whether these are khari or rabi crop ok. So, what I will do straight away over here I will be writing here rabi and khari crop and will be oh ho. Oh. Rabi crops okay, and Kharif crops. So, in this way you will understand which crop will come in which category. Now, first of all to start with wheat. Wheat where should I write? Wheat, wheat, wheat I should write in Ravi crop ok. We had just uh, before like a few questions we have solved like if wheat is allowed to grow in Kharif season what will happen. So, we all know wheat is a Ravi crop ok. Then rice paddy it is what? It is Kharif crop ok. It is good one. Maize, maize is again it needs water. So, it is a Kharif crop. Uh, then it is uh, barley, barley is rabi crop yes yes barley is rabi crop then gram just now we studied gram is also rabi crop then millet ok it is what it is khari crop then potato it is Rabi, ok. Then mustard, mustard, mustard is given, yeah, it is mustard only. Uh, mustard is Rabi crop, mustard 
is rubby groundnut is it is a monsoon crop and cotton again is a monsoon crop okay so what was it it was a mixture given of rabi and kharif top and we were supposed to separate the crops which we did it okay now come to the next one now come to the one word answer okay it is what one word answer i'll rub this thing now because so much of space is going i'll continue writing over here okay now again it's one word answer okay an agriculture practice used to sow seeds is called an agriculture practice used to sow okay an agriculture practice used to sow seed is called sowing so simple it's number 1 it's sowing okay now number 2 the process of loosening and turning up of the soil is known as again i'm reading the process you should uh, you know this thing should be very clear in your mind as soon as this sentence is being read the things the word should come in your mind the process of loosening and turning up of the soil is known as what it is tilling we have studied a lot about this now so i will not go into detail okay the process of take the process of growing fruits vegetables and ornamental plant is called as again the process of growing fruits vegetables and ornamental plant is known as horticulture if you remember we have discussed many crops uh, i'm so sorry not many crops we have discussed many branches of agriculture agronomy this nomi that nomi we have discussed a lot okay please have a look over there also now the next one is green manure is formed by the decomposition of again green manure is formed by the decomposition of what obviously leguminous plants it is leguminous plants okay it is leguminous plant now a man made anorganic compound okay a man made anorganic compound which provides specific nutrients to the soil is called i'll just give it to you again a man made anorganic compounds which provides specific nutrients to the soil is called as supplying nutrient to the soil and man made what it can be can it be manure no it can be what it is fertilizers fifth one fertilizers okay this was the next last one now please come to the next one it is true and false okay it is what true or false the process of loosening and turning up of the soil is called leveling just now we had so this question again the process of loosening and turning up of the soil is called leveling of course it is false and don't even think of saying numbers i have to look 100 times it's false second 
mixing of soil with manure is called manuring i repeat it again mixing of soil mixing of soil with manure is called manuring true absolutely correct it is true third one seeds should be sown at uneven distance what nonsense should we do this or like oh ho seeds should be sown at uneven distance from each other to avoid overcrowding false to avoid overcrowding it's very very important that the seeds has to be sown at a particular distance we cannot just keep on sowing the seeds randomly okay so what it is false okay now fourth one the process by which seedlings are transferred to main field is called seed drill i'll repeat the question the process by which seedlings are transferred to the main field is called as seed drill no no way okay then what it is known as any guess in your mind obviously you should know the answer okay now what it is known as it is known as transplantation which is done in the case of rice okay it is sown in the uh, where somewhere as and then brought up in the fields come to the next one one more is there fifth is there i forgot okay fifth is there the manure obtained by the decomposition of dead plants and animal waste etc is called compost i read it out again the manure obtained by the decomposition of dead plants and animal waste etc is called as compost true it is very very true okay now come to the next one okay so next one is name the following yes name the following okay cutting and gathering of a mature crop is again i'll read it cutting and gathering of a mature crop is what cutting means what it is cultivation so number what one it is cultivation okay tall cylinders for bulk storage of food grains i'll repeat tall cylinders for bulk storage of food grains are known as silos come to the third one separation of grain from the harvested stalks of hay separation of grains from the harvested stalks of hay is threshing okay separating grains from the chaff we all know now it's winnowing okay oh my god again fifth one is there a machine used for cutting threshing and separating grains okay i'll just repeat it out a machine which is used for cutting threshing and separating grains is what it is known as combine okay it is known as what combine now we have mash the columns okay again i'll have to write whole mash the column so this is mash the pears okay so we have five over here the first is vegetables 
सेकेंड फूड ग्रीन्स थर्ड गवर्नमेंट एजेंसी फोर्थ इज ग्रीन सिलोस फिफ्थ इज एम्ब्रेंथस Okay, and here I will be writing answers for first, second, third, fourth one, and fifth one. And let me write over here also. First is go downs. B is weed. C is cylindrical. I'll write in short cylindrical structure. D is state wearing corporation. What it is? State warehousing. State warehousing corporation. E is cold storage. Oh my God! It's over now. Okay. so just we'll have to find out vegetables i can find out it is cold storage theek hai food grains it can be i so go downs it will be go downs okay then government agencies it is this one state warehousing corporation it is d okay and grain silos uh fourth one it is c cylindrical and c okay i'm not able to write here it is c and amaranthus is a weed it's very clear okay so this was the match the column now we'll just have something else now Okay, let's define agriculture. What's the meaning of agriculture? How can we define agriculture? Uh, we know how to define crops, and we have learned about the agriculture practices also. But what's the meaning of agriculture? Agriculture means the process of growing crops. Okay, and then what's the meaning of crops? When large number of or when the same kind of plants are grown on the land okay so that is crops then how the crops can be divided it can be divided on the basis of the climate and the conditions which is required so kharif and rabi kharif monsoon crops rabi non monsoon crops yes okay so we need to define agriculture what do you mean by agriculture how can we define agriculture the process the process of growing crops okay the process of growing crops is known as agriculture now come to the next one okay chemicals to kill pests are known as i can say one word okay so chemicals to kill kill pests paste okay are known as what obviously pesticides okay so what is the first one it is pesticides come to the next one crop sown in the beginning of winter okay crop sown in the beginning of the winter that means it is not grown in the monsoon season so which crop it will be it will be rabi no need to get confused just the question is little bit Changed, okay. 
the crop which is sown in the beginning of the rainy season is kharif the crop which is sown in the beginning of the winter season is rabi okay the process of growing crops intentionally i wrote this so that you can understand it is agriculture okay it is for agriculture just now explained you a tool used to loosen and turn the soil a tool used to loosen and turn the soil is plow is what plow okay now take the correct answer okay now we have take the correct answer a traditional method of irrigation is a traditional method of irrigation is a rahat b mot c dekli and d all of them so we all know it is what first of all i'll write the heading tick the correct answer it will be what all of this okay come to the second one okay transfer of seedlings from nursery to the main field is please try to listen very carefully transfer of seedlings from nursery that means it is grown somewhere in the nursery from there it is brought up to the field okay so this one is what a transplantation b sowing c weeding and d none of this so we know it is what transplantation okay it is what transplantation <coughs> now which one of the following is a weed which one of the following is a weed wheat chenopodium and maize and rice so it's for chenopodium come to the fourth one furrow and basin irrigation are the okay furrows and basin irrigation are the names of two persons That's so funny okay names of two persons second names of villages it's now more funny it's literally funny see modern methods of irrigation obviously this is a correct answer and none of this so we all know it is not the name of the villager it's not the name of the uh, any person okay so what it is modern method of irrigation it is modern methods of irrigation okay now come to the next one now next one is fill in the blanks okay npk okay npk are fertilizers rich in see we have red chemistry we know the symbols n stands for nitrogen p stands for phosphorus and k stands for what potassium okay so n stands for what nitrogen okay p stands for phosphorus and then k stands for potassium okay now come to the 
second one okay we decides are the chemicals that are used to kill oh, very simple because now we know it okay we decides are the chemicals which are used to kill weeds now third one soil crumbs are broken with the help of soil crumbs are broken with the help of what uh, we are going to discuss you know what i'll do i'll make a gist of all the instruments which we have used okay in this chapter like have you used means the farmers used so and we'll go through all the functions so again this thing will also become clear for you all okay so soil crumbs are broken with the help of what leveler what's the meaning of crumbs dalle that when the soil gets collected okay na this much big pieces of soil it has to be broken so it is done by what leveler okay now the next one dash and dash are common sources of water for irrigation again dash and dash are common sources of water for irrigation you can write anything like wells two wells rivers okay so i would like number what it is fourth all right here only so what i do i need to write rivers anyone you know wells two wells okay wells and two wells are the like very common means of irrigation fifth one dash is the process of cultivating crops now we all are aware of this dash are dash is the process of cultivating crops it is agriculture okay now the next question is about true and false okay the next question is true and false excess of water in the soil inhibits the process of germination again excess of water in the soil inhibits any beads the process of germination very true i told you the same that a very proper amount of uh, water is required irrigation has to be done very properly in a particular intervals uh, in particular intervals and in like the amount has to be very like very particular if more is given seeds won't germinate if less is given again seeds won't germinate okay so it's true come to the b food grains can be safely stored just after threshing i told you the food grains cannot be stored just after threshing okay lot lot many things have to be done after that okay after threshing we knowing is done after we knowing then what has to be done sun drying is done okay so it's what falls manures are nutrient specific are manures nutrient specific or fertilizers are nutrient specific obviously fertilizers are nutrient specific so again this one is false manures are nutrient specific means what false fourth one winnowing can be done by a combine winnowing can be done by using a combine combine i told you it's a machine which is used to do three things together it harvests it threshes and winnows also so it's what true okay now fifth one wheat and gram are rabi crops wheat and grams are rabi crops absolutely true now the next one is why do crops needs to be irrigated more frequently during summers these are the hot something like that like which you don't find the things are not there in the 
textbook but something you have to use uh, like you have to use your previous knowledge and then you have to write the answer. So, first one is why do crops needs to be irrigated more frequently during summer. So, I will explain you a bit because this was not there in the topic also while explaining the chapter also it was not there. So, I will just explain you a bit see uh, first of all in summers due to high temperature the water gets evaporated more, but from where. So, this is the leaf on this the small 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 pores are present which are known as stomata ok. Now, what happens the excess of amount of water keeps on flowing from this, but actually now there is no excess of water, but due to the uh, the more amount of heat ok the, the transpiration also get increased. Now, what is transpiration the removal of water from the surface of the leaves ok. So, why it has to be given very frequently because in summer see it is as same as we need more amount of water during summer ok. We do not uh, uh, drink uh, more water during especially in the rainy season ok when there is so much of moisture around us we do not need it ok because sweating does not happens ok and uh, the, but again in the winter also the amount of uh, the water intake get reduced, but when we take the example of summers we need more amount of water because the sweating is more and more uh, water actually water is also required to maintain the body temperature ok. So, that is the reason in summer we require more water same is the case with uh, plants also first of all the rate of the transpiration get increased and even water is used by them also to keep the temperature ok constant the frost and all these things can be maintained the high heat can be uh, kept in control like it does not harm the plant ok.